I wouldn't want to use that, but... Because it's got some gold in it, so it already matches. No. Nope. Ooh. No. Ooh, that would that would match perfectly. Oh, but look at that, it's an Ubisoft special. <laughs> they know what they were doing. That will work too, but yeah, you gotta unlock it first. Finally took care of Lucy Thorne. About bloody time, dear sister. Good day, my ladyship. That's the game making a comment about itself. <laughs> Light and shadow. different. <laughs> A bit of piano. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'll probably just watch this passively for a minute. Stare at some footage. Some footage. And then if I hear any noise, just kind of comment on it like I've been uh, been doing normally. So, mm, all right, that shall do. That shall do. If you change your mind, do come back. Thank you, you can go. What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> 
The newspapers are all over Tupany's murder. And if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit. With those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Avalon. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Aberlein. <clears throat> I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Fry. Fitters. <laughs> Heard about the rioting at the bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. <laughs> Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Easy girl. Go on. Yeah, I see that light does make her stand out, but kind of in a bad way. <laughs> because she doesn't match the uh, clothing. Keep your eyes open. Anyone could be trying to get in. Yes, sir. Keep this place locked down. Yes, sir. Guard this place as you would the Bank of England itself. Absolutely, sir. Mean the bank that was just recently broke into? <laughs> broke in, into. Yeah, I, I know how it goes. I've been in America for some years now, so uh, I, I know how to speak somewhat properly. <laughs> Three-hit combo. And he's dead. I don't know. Know what you did? 
It's funny how Templars are so quick to turn on each other. <laughs> well, with a little bit of help. Of course. She said she cleared the building for me. Yeah, this is going to end badly. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Shockwaves. <laughs> dude. I didn't think that was gonna be a Sneak these back into the bank. You know the way that it exploded realistically, she should have flown backwards, <laughs> but uh yeah, flying off to the side is like uh, okay. <laughs> so I don't know, never stand well, never hang outside of an open window while a bomb's going to explode. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, seriously? Yeah, the explosion didn't cost the papers to burn. <laughs> Only I could. Yeah, that's a realistic physics engine. <laughs> Take the documents, survive the bombing, but not the fire. <laughs> One more for the Pope's pit. I'm with you. and assault lethal force you won't live to see another day if you don't mend your ways lethal miss. force 
do? You're just a security guard. <laughs> Shit. Cold coffee is nasty coffee. So I'm gonna pour that out. Again, I wasn't even back there. And surprisingly, we made it to the end of a long session. Well, it was that long, long. It's only two hours, not four, so it's kind of breaking away from the norm. Well, the norm. That was sort of established by this game, which I'm gonna break for the next game because it's like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing like four hours of commentary, <laughs> which is like half a damn shift at a regular job. So it's like, uh, no, let's do like partial, partials, taking in bite sized pieces. So like I have to psychologically trick myself into like, hey, this is a short thing, so uh, sit down for two hours, have a nice conversation with myself, and uh, yeah. Let's go with my day. And he's the same route Jacob took. Opinion. I would change that, uh, that shirt. Oh, what is it? Like a, a cape or something? Like yeah, it's just that meshing well with uh, what you're doing. They were never taken. Like a G? Oh. It's on the other side of the building! <laughs> yeah, wait up. Fuck up my outro, man. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I saw what you did. <laughs> Trying to look all badass and shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Face in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me.